For more on Iran's unprecedented attack against Israel, I earlier spoke with Keio University professor Tanaka Koichiro, an expert on Iran and the region. For more on Iran's unprecedented attack against Israel, we're joined by Keio University professor Tanaka Koichiro, an expert on Iran and the region. Thanks very much for coming in. Thanks, um, so, what does the scale and method of the attack tell us about Iran's strategy? First, they were saying they're going to do it, and now they did it. Mm -hmm. Well, they actually did it. But um, I think they're still trying to tell both the United States and to Israel that they don't want to escalate the situation, that it will go out of the hands and then eventually lead to sort of regional war. So uh, we see that the measures are quite calculated, and also the weapons that have been uh, deployed were also... I mean, sort of a measured response. So I think that what the uh, UN uh, mission statement from Iran says is that, okay, they want to stop it here. Not, they don't want to go anything further. It sounds pretty much like a limited thing that they're intended to do. What's next for Israel, meanwhile, and the U.S.? Especially yeah. I'm concerned about Israel. Yeah, well, that's the difficult part. Now, uh, even though the Iranians consider that things are now over, it may not be so for the Israelis. Now they're shot, shot at. And I believe that President Biden of the United States would do whatever he can to see someone restrained from Israeli response. But uh, Israel's Prime Minister uh, Netanyahu himself is in political trouble back at home, and he still has this war going on against the Palestinians in Gaza. So he's in quite a difficult position now. I mean, I, in the past cases, Israel has mostly ignored a lot of uh, United States uh, requests or demands to cease fire and also to, say, stop the uh, aggressions. So in this case, Israel is likely to respond, as I see. What are some of the nuclear uh, considerations there? Yes, first of all, Israel could respond by using their nuclear arsenals, although they don't admit to them. But uh, secondly, if Israel is to respond by attacking Iranian soil, mainland at this time, uh, it could lead to Iran to withdraw from the NPT, the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, and go nuclear by themselves. And it is a risk that the United States, I think, has considered in their response to um, how to restrain the response out from uh, Israel in this case. How soon can Iran go nuclear, would you say? Well, I mean, to nuclear, uh, to have a nuclear uh, weapon, it would take several weeks possibly to enrich. But to actually weaponize it, we actually don't know. It may take a year or two. How can the international community defuse the situation, especially mm -hmm. the United States? Well, um, the United States could try to first calm the Israelis down and not to respond to the attacks, the recent, most recent attacks. But I think, uh, as I said earlier, Israel can withstand that. So if the Israelis are to respond, then how would the United States or even the United Kingdom, Britain, uh, would go along with them or stop, just try to stop them by their force? I mean, force, I mean to be sure, uh, nothing is sure at this moment. All right. Thank you very much for your input today. You're welcome.